Good afternoon, my homies and homets out there. So we have a surprise install today because my neighbor uh, kind of caught me off guard, got me a surprise, I guess we're calling it a Father's Day present. He, uh, they had a deal going on online, so he decided to buy two for less than the cost of two and hook me up. So super appreciate that, real nice guy. Uh, not, it's something that I've seen online, but I had never really considered. So I have it. We're gonna pop it on there and see what we think. Let me go ahead and uh, grab it here. So what we've got is this uh, dual tone horn from Moto Horn. It's a 500 megahertz and 400 megahertz uh, dual horn. And as you can see, it's 120 to 130 dBs. Um, I believe the stock horn comes in at something in the neighborhood of 80, which is what I'm still running under this horn cover, which I like. This is just a cheap Amazon special pop metal thing. So in theory, getting this new horn on really shouldn't be that bad. We just got to uh, either pull this nut or that nut. I know in order to get this off, I have to pull this, then this, because the horn cover blocks that nut. Uh, but, uh, you know, we're going to give it a whirl because if nothing else, it's going to be louder. I mean, I don't use the horn a whole lot, but in the instance that I need to use it, it'd be nice to know that it's going to get heard instead of, instead of sounding like some Vespa horn. So I need to figure out what tools I need, and then we'll see about getting this bad boy on there. So let me crack into the tools and see what we need, and I'll be right back. Okay, so as I thought, that was just a, a half inch uh, acorn nut there. A positive and a negative cable that came off of the stock guy, the little uh, prongs right there. And of course I've already forgotten which one was which. I think this was the negative and I'm pretty sure that would make this the positive. So I don't know if I'm gonna need this support bracket. I mean, hell, I barely even opened that box. So I guess the next thing we can do is probably mosey over to the workbench, crack into this a little bit more than what I've already done. I mean, I've opened one, but let's see what we got going on here. See if I can't do this one-handed um, without making too many people laugh at me. So, this is the one I've opened. This is the 400 megahertz, which actually feels a lot more substantial than I was expecting. Obviously, it's still got this stand here. We could loosen that and kind of position this wherever we want. Got our two terminals here, and we've got our, our manual here, which, to be honest, I'm probably going to use because it's minor electrical, but it's still electrical, and we know how I feel about electrical. So... Here's our 500 hertz horn. We'll set that aside. What do we got here? A little bit of hardware, a couple of bolts, a couple of uh, nylock nuts, and some wiring, and some more wiring. So essentially, it looks like we got splitters. So that way I can go off of the connectors I have to the connectors I need on the both of them. So I'm going to figure this out, reference our manuals here, kind of see how this all goes. And my neighbor mentioned possibly being able to use the, the horn cover that I already had on there, but I don't know. We're going to find out. Maybe if I spin this out to the side on both of them as far as I can, maybe, but at that point, what's, what's the point? So I don't know. I'm going to figure this out. I've never done horns, so we're going to learn today. Hold up. All right, so aside from just finding the miscellaneous hardware that I needed, which was a, a 10 millimeter, a half inch, and another miscellaneous size that's eluding me at the moment, a 14 millimeter, uh... I'm not even going to tell you what goes where. I mean, if you go with this kit, you'll figure it out. But more importantly, it came with the the splitters. So I put one splitter on the positive, one splitter on the negative, and then ran 
both positives to the top terminals and both negatives to the bottom terminals as it's sitting like this. So I did have to track down an additional washer because these tabs here combined are a little bit thinner than what I had on there. So the acorn nut here just didn't snug up real tight. So I'm gonna to toss an extra flat washer on there and then the split washer and the acorn nut and that should lock everything up together. It is noticeably louder than the stock horn but that's kind of a low bar. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these mounted up there, situate my wires, probably bust out a, a zip tire 72, get that uh, good to go and get out of the garage and play with it and to let you guys know what I think, good, bad, or otherwise, you know, again, I don't use the horn very often, but if I need to, it's gonna be nice to know that I'm being heard. So let me button this up and get it out of the garage and see what I think. All right, so it's a few days, maybe a week after I did the initial install on those horns and I, I just don't groove where they're at. So I went up to Moto Horns website, looked at some of the other customer photos, and I think I've come up with an idea that I'm gonna do here to just kind of ease the the look of it. It's just it it's just not aesthetically pleasing to me. So I think what we're gonna try to do is and it's gonna be a snug fit here, but I'm going to move these guys. And I'm going to put, I'm going to attempt, let's put it that way. I'm going to try to move one up here at this uh, tank bolt and then one on the other side. So the horns will be stashed right up here above the, uh, the heads here. And then I have to decide if I just want to put my old horn cover back here or just kind of leave this stud sitting out there. I, I'm not sure yet. Uh, but I think that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to yoink these off and try to go on either side of the tank and see if I like that look a little bit more, especially since these are black and everything up there is, is black. So it should camouflage these horns pretty well and make it so that, uh, I get the volume and the look that I would prefer out of these. So let's see what I can make happen. That, that was definitely the trick. It was a little fiddly trying to figure out how I wanted to route the wires in and around the, the neck of the bike and you know tuck and hide and chase and keep wires up off of heat. But th this, is, this is what I, I wanted. This, I'm gonna show you, but it was way better. They're camouflaged, they're still loud, but they're damn near invisible. So as you can see, I've got my regular cover back in place. Let me get you some light here. So, got the regular one in place right there, but I moved the horn right there, if that's coming through. So, I don't know how to, so you can see that uh, I used the main take bolt. Obviously, I can't have the little dust cover on there anymore, so you know, whatever. Holding the horn. And it'll be easier to show you on the other side of the bike here where I got better light, but you can see yeah, well, maybe it's not any better. I'll be damned. So there's the other one up there on the tank bolt, kind of hidden there in front of the tank behind my lower here. And when the light's out, you ooh, really can't even notice the thing, you know, unless you know to be looking. That's that's what I like. That's that's sleek. That's hidden. You know, I groove that, you know, and then as far as the wires go, uh, let's see if get some lighting going on over here without blinding us. Hold on, technical difficulties here. Okay, so I just ran the main wiring over the top of the stem to right here. And it is just tucked up in there because I didn't have a lot of wire to play with, but you know, that's not gonna come down and fall in anything. I got ample clearance there from the, the head. So, I mean, I'm still gonna keep an eye on it for the first few rides and and see if anything is uh, 
you know, melting. But I don't think it will. If it does, I'll find a way to run a zip tie probably around this just to lock it into place. But, you know, we'll we'll see how it, how it works out. So, that's way more better. I mean, not super thrilled that that's pointing back at me. But given the space that I had to work with here, that's that was definitely the better option. Uh, so I just have to make damn sure I really want to use my horn uh, before I hit that button. So, because I'm going to hear it and everybody around me is going to hear it. Uh, so it, it could hurt. But now that's all I've got. Um, figure out how I'm going to edit this in because I finished the video and then decided I didn't like it so I jumped back in here. So some create full, creative, no, create full uh, editing. We'll see how all of this uh, merges. So if it seems out of mind, that's because I'm a moron and I waited a week to actually finish putting the video together. So, all right. So pulled it out of the garage, took it out to my neighbor's house who got it for me. Jam. Oh, jam. Frick. I can't even say it. Fuckers are loud. Um, I mean, it puts my truck horn to shame. Don't remember, aesthetically, they're kind of on the ugly side. Functionally, okay, everybody's going to know you're coming. They're going to know you're there. So, I, I want to say they got a deal going on. Is it this? You're going to see this probably two, three weeks after I've already installed it. But they got a deal going on. It's something, I think, like 60 or 70 bucks for one. My neighbor got it, uh, I think, two for 70 or two for 90 or, or something like that. I don't know. He just texted me and told me about the deal he just got and told me I was getting new horns for the bike. So, I got to love having neighbors like that. Uh, and refused to let me pay him for it. So, I got to figure something out, you know, maybe beer or bud or something i don't know but uh damn that's really uh, the best way i can describe it is is damn uh i know custom dynamics has a dual tone that's a little bit more low profile but a lot more money um and they're supposed to be stupid loud but for the money yeah this 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 is a winner it was really easy i couldn't really mix up the positive or the negative uh the Directions left a little to be desired. There's a lot of extra wire. Let me swap out batteries real quick. Hold up. There we go. Fresh battery. So back to what I was saying is all of the wiring, you get a lot more wiring than what you need. So zip tying and tucking away is not as ideal as I would have liked. Probably as ideal as you would get on a higher end or a higher budget type product. But again, when you're paying an entry level price, you got to take the good with the bad. So that's about the only negative things I have to say is aesthetically, it's, it's not as pleasing as I would like. The wires were a lot longer than what you needed. I mean, you probably had nine inches of wiring, uh, so which is excessive for where it's going, but I get that this is supposed to be kind of a universal type fit for all bikes. So, you know, you, you give and you take. So. For my application, I had a lot of extra wire. Uh, I appreciate that you couldn't screw up the positive and the negative. Uh, I appreciate that they gave you the hardware that you needed to make it work. Um, will it stay on the bike? At this moment, I don't know. I might change my mind and I might become a definitive, oh hell yes, that's staying there. I might go back to what I had. I, I don't know, but my my neighbor being as cool as he is hooked me up uh so i had to give it a whirl so you guys get to reap the benefits of um, my efforts of installing it and his the efforts of his wallet so if you guys have this horn or a similar horn let me know what you think good and bad you know is it uh, do you regret buying it you know are you glad that you bought it uh now, what did you buy? Did you get the, the Amazon special? Did you get the Moto Horn brand? Did you get the custom dynamics? I'm sure Ciro probably makes something. I haven't looked, but uh, I'll put a link down below for where he got these horns from so you guys could check them out. I know that the deal will be long since passed, but maybe they'll have something else going on by the time you guys get to see this. So questions, comments, concerns, as always, leave them down below. Uh, if you're enjoying this, 
you know, hit me with a, a thumbs up or and or a subscribe. I appreciate both. Um, don't really appreciate the uh, thumbs down, but hey, it is communication, and I'm not going to turn down communication. So uh, that's about all I've got. Uh, we'll see what the next project's going to be on on which bike, and we'll kind of go from there. Until next time, we'll catch y'all later. See ya.